everybody, it's Charles from Craving Shaving. How's everybody doing? It's been a long time. I haven't had much content. To, I haven't bought any new stuff or really done anything new. And so I haven't had a lot of content to make. But I do today, and I'm really excited about it. I've been, you know, wanting to make a, a, another video, but I haven't really had anything to make it on. Um, so I'm excited about that. Um, and uh, the reason I'm making this video is because someone was kind enough to send me something. Uh, Philip... And I'm not going to use last names, I don't know if he wants me to say exactly who he is, but sent me this knot, and this is a 30mm PureTech knot, um, synthetic, and I don't usually use 30mm knots, so that that's uh, a bit unique on this. I made this handle for it. I am, of course, a science teacher, and I, my favorite things to teach are things like genetic and evolution, so genetics... I should say. We usually throw an S on that, don't we? Um, and uh, so I had to go ahead and make this. I actually made a second one um, that will be on my uh, Etsy store hopefully this weekend. We'll see how things go. All right. So we are going to use this knot, and I'm going to give my feedback. I was really flattered. He said that he's sending it to me because he likes my content and, and appreciates my feedback. Um, and so I will do my best to give good feedback for this knot. First of all, just, I mean, what a good looking synthetic knot. I mean, this is probably the best looking synthetic knot I've ever seen. Um, so it's already got that going for it. Um, we are going to be using that brush to lather up some cannonball from Summer Break Soap. Summer Break Soaps. Um, and this is one of my favorite soaps all time. I love it. It's getting warmer out here. I live in, in Utah um, and summers in Utah are just really hot. So we're going to be lathering that up. For those of you who don't know, this has WS-23 in it, which is a synthetic coolant. Oh, I got a little fuzzy flying around. Um, that is just lovely. Um, it just really does a good job of cooling your face down in a, in a more, like, authentic cold feeling, I think. We have the, uh, Gillette, uh, razor, I forget what it's called. I guess it's, um, King C. Gillette. Is that, a, is that what his name was? I've forgotten. It's been a while since I've, uh, made a shaving video. In fact, I've had a beard until getting ready for this. I didn't want to have to do a beard shave off for this video, so I shaved it a couple days ago. Um, all right, well, let's just dive right into it, shall we? So, um, I am not used to 30 millimeter knots. Um, it's quite big in this bowl that I use. I am generally a 26 millimeter knot person, so bear that in mind with this review, or really first thoughts. I, I feel like with it, I, I'm pretty familiar with synthetic knots. I was talking to uh, a friend of mine, Jeremy Tyler, if you know him. He was talking about breaking in synthetic knots. I've never felt like there's been any break-in period, and so I feel like I can give a fairly good um, review on my first use of this. Um, if you don't agree with that, you don't have to agree with that, but that's that's what I feel like. I have actually lathered it up and put it on my face once already, um, because I was told to uh, to do so um, for best results. So we shall see. I'm get a little bit more water here. Got a lot of soap in this. As you can see, I'm growing my hair out a little bit. <laughs> It's longer than it's ever been in my entire life, so. And I was really liking the look with my beard until I shaved it off, so I probably will grow my beard out after this video. Um, but I definitely wanted to make this because it's pretty cool. I get excited for things. I, I, I love that they're starting to make these knots look a lot more authentic. I think that's really cool. We got my face. Alright. Well, you know what? 
That feels a lot better than it did actually the first time, so maybe there is something to that breaking in knot. So it's not the softest knot that I've ever used. I will say that. But few are. In fact, the softest knot I ever used was probably a mother load knot. If you've ever had, uh, had or used one of those. And it was very soft, but um, to, to my opinion anyway, didn't have a lot going on with it. Um, this has great backbone, I will say that. Good face feel. I have had softer knots with similar amounts of, of backbone. I don't know if some of that backbone is coming from being a 30 millimeter knot or or what. Does that happen guys? I, I have, hold on a second. <laughs> I have this is my other big brush and this is um, a handle I made but the knot is from a uh, Razorock F, what is it, F400? Um, big ol' 30, I want to say 34 or 36. Do you guys remember? What, the Razorock F400? I want to say 30, I want to say 36, but I don't know if that's correct. Alright. We got my very last Balzano Superior Knox blade in here. I think this is a fantastic razor, by the way. Really affordable and really enjoyable and effective for, for, for my hair. Oh, I got... This is different. I'm going to keep that out of my uh, razor. So... I was really hoping, probably the, oh look at that, <laughs> I'm doing great, huh? Um, I was really hoping that this would be as good as the Duro Knot, so I may, um, be a little bit disappointed in this just because it isn't, I, I, ever since, uh, Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements stopped carrying the Duro Knot, I have been looking for something to replace it. I have purchased a lot of synthetic knots from suppliers and I can't find anywhere that supplies a Duro knot, even you know the Chinese companies and stuff like that. For those of you who don't remember the Duro knot here. Let me go grab a brush that has a Duro knot. So this is my Smiles for Miles brush that has a Duro knot in it. And this thing is great. I love that brush, that knot. Oh, oh, I just really sliced my nose, guys. <laughs> really bad. Oh, look at that. That's probably one of the worst cuts I've ever had shaving. Dang it. Um, anyway. Every brush has its pros and cons. Every knot. Even the Duro knot had some cons that I didn't love. Um, if you look at it, um, even still, so the way they shipped, they shipped here. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to tell. It's very square. They ship it in, in square packages. And, uh, dang. That squareness um, never really goes away, which is a bummer. Um, and just in general, it looks very synthetic to me. 
Um, so, you know, had that um, issue, I guess. I'm going to throw some styptic on my nose real quick, which is going to be fun. Oh, oh, guys. Oh, man. Maybe sneeze. Why is that making me sneeze, guys? Oh, it's stinging my nose. <laughs> What's well, a fun comeback to YouTube, isn't it? <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> Pardon the uh, mutil mutilation. Oh, sheesh. Okay, well. Let's get another sense of this brush I'm casting. It's a nice full brush. Not, obviously, 30 millimeter, very dense. And it's quite pleasant, especially when you're painting, it's very soft. So, maybe I was too hasty on my softness thing. When you just go like this, it's a little bit, just the slightest bit pokey. And that's me being picky, it's, it's pretty soft. Um, I love trying new brush knots because Oftentimes you can, uh, as a brush maker, supply them in, um, in my shop. So I'll use this probably a few times um, just cleaning up, the, because again, I'm going to grow my beard out after this, but cleaning up the uh, neck and cheeks and stuff, and we will get a better feel for this knot. And if I, if I do like it, I might start carrying them. I will see if they carry them in... 26 though because I really like just making 26 millimeter uh, handles so that I have more variety of options for people so we'll see so far my opinion is it's a really good knot not the best I've ever used but it is at the top of the uh, spectrum for look. I think it looks really nice. Which is a factor for me. And I think a lot of people want a brush that looks really nice. Obviously, with a brush handle, we like them to look nice too. But... Um, hope everyone's summer's going well. Oh. Happy Canada Day to all my Canadian friends. I lived in Canada for a bit and uh, it's a great place. I love it. Um, I would probably, if I had a reason to, I guess, um, career wise or something, or if, you know, I probably would move back to Canada. I quite liked it there. I lived in Edmonton. And just kind of northern Alberta in general. I, kind of, I, I didn't stay in necessarily one place. I moved around a bit while I was there. Everywhere from, for those of you who know Canada or northern Alberta, everywhere from pretty much Red Deer to Grand Prairie. But most of it in, uh, in Edmonton. Kind of the southern part of Edmonton. 
Okay, all right. Last pass. Well, I don't know what else to say about that knot. Um, if you have any questions about my thoughts on it, um, drop them down in the comments, especially Philip, if you want to know more, or email me. Um, but yeah, I think it's a great knot. It's a pure tech knot. I know you can get them from Frank Shaving. If you uh, are looking to get one, I obviously right now do not carry them. Will I in the future? I don't know. I already have several versions of synthetic knots. Um, this is currently the one that people buy the most from me. And this is called the, uh, I call it the Crave Knot because I hadn't seen anyone else um, selling it. And so I didn't know what to call it. So I kind of named it after Craving Shaping, I guess. But um, it's quite good. Now, I get, and I always worry about this kind of stuff. I wasn't sure if I was going to address this or not, but I always worry that people are going to go, yeah, Charles, but you're just trying to promote your stuff, so you'll sell them. No, I sell my, I sell my stuff handle only. So you can put whatever you want in it. Now, it's more of a, a case of, again, like I said, I've tried lots of knots, and this is, one of the ones I like the most. Again, if they had Duro knots still at PAA, those that's what I would would supply. But they don't. And I talked to to Douglas and he said they just his supplier stopped carrying them. Is why he didn't stop because, you know, he didn't like them or anything like that. It was his supplier. No longer carries them. Well, that was a great, nice shave. Yeah, so overall, I mean, if you're thinking about getting this knot, I wouldn't hesitate to, to get a, uh, a Pure Tech knot. It's good. I like it. So that, those are my thoughts on it. Um, yeah, uh, the soap, I mean, if you've watched any of my other videos, and just kind of from my intro, this is one of the best soaps ever. My face feels great right now. Let's get it cleaned up. And throw some of the matching aftershave on. Actually, before we do that, let's throw some alum. Do some old alum on there. Not too bad, other than the nose incident. Maybe a little bit on my neck. I would say, again, this not, if I was going to rank the things, the looks, I'd say 10 out of 10. I love it. Um, softness, 7 out of 10. Um, backbone, 10 out of 10. It's a great backbone. Um, face feel, 9 out of 10. Overall, probably 9 out of 10. Sorry about that. I uh, ran out of memory on my camera, so I apologize. Anyway, like I was saying, I would say, yeah, like a like a 9 out of 10. I think it's great. I think the, the looks make up for... And this is a personal thing, obviously. But uh, in my opinion, the look of it makes up for the slight, um, slightly less soft uh, feel of the tips. But it's a synthetic. I mean, it's still going to be softer than any boar or badger, um, probably. So, I don't know. Some, some gel tip knots can be pretty dang soft, but like a normal, you know, too bad badger knot is probably softer than, or at least comparable to. Um, all right, I think that's pretty much it. Love this stuff. I can't remember if I said this already. Um, Cannonball is one of my favorites. They got me some new packaging. It's really awesome. They actually, uh, Kyle and April just released another line of that. Um, not of not of Cannonball, but they released another soap. I want to call it soaps or soap swing, uh, rope swing. Um, and it's a summer themed again. 
more uh, woodsy, I think, and, and outdoorsy scent, which isn't really my thing. I love this. It does, it's funny because now when I go to the pool, it reminds me of Cannonball, rather than Cannonball reminding me of the, the, the side of a pool. So, good stuff. Anyway, hope, I hope this is a, a helpful video. I, again, can't remember if I said this before my camera died or not. This knot, um, I do not sell it, but you can get it from Frank Shaves, I think is the one that mostly sells this knot. Um, so, I don't know if you can get it anywhere else, but you can go just search that and it'll come right up. Um, yeah, if you have any questions for me, let me know in the comments or email me at cravingshaving at gmail.com. And hopefully I'm going to start actually putting some brushes up for sale fairly soon. Um, I'm getting back into it now that it's summertime. I had to wait to get some resin and pouring blanks and stuff takes a while because um, they need to, for best results, uh, they need to sit there for a few days to uh, fully cure. So anyway. Thanks. Thanks for dealing with me cutting my nose off almost. And uh, hope you have a wonderful day.